is VI Pets, where we meet pedigree personalities and their BFFs, Bezzy Furry Friends. Lou has just woke up and this is the first thing that he likes to do in the morning. Good boy. So once Blue's had a little play, we like to give him some breakfast. Stay. He knows he's not allowed to have his breakfast until we tell him to. Good boy, good then. Sometimes he doesn't eat all of his breakfast because he's got such a little belly. Tired. He likes to have a nap on the windowsill and he looks out to the trains. Blue, we're going to walk. We're going to walk. It's walkie time. You gonna get your coat on? Blue always has to wear his coat when it's cold because he shivers a lot, even though he's got a big ball of fur on him. But he shivers when you get cold, don't you, mister? You got your coat on, you got your collar on with your little name tag as well. Under there that says Blue. And uh, we're gonna go on a walk out, mister. We're in the park now. He's uh, just, just walking along as he does. And I'm hoping that he doesn't get really muddy because Otherwise, it'll muddy my car. You having a wee? Come on in. Off he goes. <laughs> He's got himself tangled. Oh, flu. Come on, mister. Come on, off you go. Look at him go. <laughs> now I've just got him for his walk. It's dinner time. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Ah, ah. Not yet. Not yet, Blue. Paw. Paw. <laughs> Good boy. High five. Good boy. Go on then, you can have it. And then once he's had his dinner, we usually have another player with his ball. You ready? Go get it. Do I have to chase you? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm going to get you. Can I have it? I usually do that for about half an hour or so when he's had his dinner so that I can tire him out. But as you can tell, I'm the one that gets more tired out than him. Look, he's still going. I'm ready for bed. Good morning, doggies. Okay, Freddy, you first. <laughs> Freddy, I need to... I found the cat. <laughs> oh, oh! oh! Freddy! Oh! Freddy! Pippa's the well-behaved one. Come on, Pip. Let's... There we go. Go. Freddy, Freddy, can you, Freddy, please stop. Freddy! <laughs> so I'm gonna feed the dogs now, but Freddy always gets really overly excited. So I'm gonna ask you to sit down, Freddy, please. Freddy, can you sit? Thank you, and you too. Wait there. He's Freddy. Fre oh. <laughs> Come here, kitty. Come here. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so this is probably Pepper, I'll say. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Look, I, I move the cup, right? And his head goes with it. And he tries to do no, 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 no. What the cat's eating? <laughs> Stop! No, not good. Your food is over here. <laughs> wait. Go on. No, no, no! Oh, Freddy! <laughs> and look at how quick he eats the food. Pippa's got some food left. She's taking her time. I wonder who's going to be done first. Oh look, it's Freddy. Today is a really big day for Frank and I. We've been apart for six months, which is the longest time we've ever been apart and we are finally being reunited. Let's go. Yeah. Hi, Frankie. Hi. 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 I did bring trees. <laughs> Thanks for the kisses, bud. Ready, Frankie? And sit. Good boy. Ready, go. <laughs> Ow, he bit my finger. Frank is really soft at the moment because he went and got a blueberry facial at his groomers. I don't really know what that actually means, but it makes him smell so nice. Do you smell so nice? 
Yes. We are ready for the day. We've got Frank's food, we've got his collar and other collar options. Got some poo bags, we've got treats, we've got his harness and his lead, and we're ready to go, Frankie! You ready? Okay. Bye! Frank is a real house dog. He doesn't like walking and he loves sleeping. One of the funniest things about taking Frank out for walks, especially in the autumn, is he gets so many leaves stuck in the long fur on his tail and you basically spend the next two hours just like picking stuff out of it. One of Frank's absolute favourite things are his puppuccinos that he can get at coffee shops. He absolutely loves them. A little pile of Frank right here. Now we know that Frank does not like walking. One thing he does love is his bag, because when he gets in that, he knows it means no walking, don't you? Just zip him in, good to go! Crumble loves to sleep in bed with me, and there's always lots of kisses in the morning, she loves to cuddle into you. Sometimes she pushes you out of your place, even if the whole bed is empty, she will still want to push you off the spot and be like, nah, this is my place. I always take her to my dance studio whenever I teach. She is so used to it, she's been coming there from when she was a little girl. She's got her little cushion there where she sits and watches me teach. And she loves to interact and mess around with my younger students. Crumb was really, really smart little girl. We taught her to do lots of different tricks from basics like sit and down. She can also roll over. She can dance around and stand up and pivot and do a little twirl. It's one of my favorites is when you just sort of point at her and you go bang and she pretends to be dead. <laughs> I love that actually. Crumble doesn't really think she's a dog. She doesn't really like to hang out with other dogs. She thinks she's a human. <laughs> so after a very busy schedule of you know going to the dance studio, going for walks, she likes to just chill and do absolutely nothing. But don't we all like that? A day in the life of me and Shelby. But today isn't like every other day. Today is the day we clean out Shelby's cage. First thing I do is wake Shelby up. Good morning, Shelby. Did you have a good sleep? Then I run a bowl of water just above room temperature. While Shelby is having a soak, I clean out her cage. I start by taking everything out and I give that all a wash. I empty the old soil into plant pots, then I add the new sterilised topsoil into the cage and I spread it all out. Then I start putting Shelby's things back into her cage, including her personalised piece of slate. Time to give Shelby a wash. Are you ready for your wash, Shelby? I replace the dirty water for clean water and get a clean, soft bristle toothbrush and give her a gentle scrub. Time to get dry. Don't run away from me. Time to put her back in her cage and turn on her lights. This is a UV light which gives natural lighting and this is a heat lamp. Is it food time Shelby? For her food, I go out into the garden and pick some ribwort plantain and rinse it off under the tap. And I break it into small pieces. Shelby, I got your favourite food. She loves it. Is that nice? Is that nice Shelby? Then me and Shelby have a play date to attend. Are you ready? Shelby, sit. I try teaching her new tricks such as sitting, rolling over and fetching a ball. Shelby, I got you a new ball. But she doesn't seem to get it yet. The ball's that way. We also make fun videos together. Then for the rest of the evening, me and Shelby just have a chill night. 